This Dirty Dog 4x4 rear netting in black is for those of you that have a two-door 2007 to 2018 JK that are looking for some cargo netting to change up the look of your Jeep and also to keep stuff and pets in the back of your Jeep and not poking out when you have the top down. This is gonna be a nice easy one out of three wrench installation for you and we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. So cargo netting like this is really for those two reasons that I just mentioned. This is going to give your Jeep a little bit more of that rough and tumble rugged safari styling and that's what a lot of you guys are after and that's why a lot of you guys are running this cargo netting. However, if you have a dog that you keep in the back of your Jeep maybe and he likes to uh, poke his head outside of the vehicle, you can keep him a little bit more contained by having some cargo netting. So it is also going to be a little bit functional in that way. This is Dirty Dog's kit that encompasses the rear area of the Jeep. So it's going to be from that center hoop with the sport cage back to the uh, top of the tailgate and then also has the two side pieces here that cover that area again from that center hoop to the rear of the Jeep. So encompassing that whole rear area. There is another piece that you can get that will go from the center hoop of the sport cage to the front of the uh, windshield frame. So that's going to give you full coverage of your two door. Um, so if you're looking for that, you can add that on as well. This is gonna be some pretty high quality netting. Um, now, a lot of this isn't really gonna be structural, so you don't necessarily need all of the strength that comes with this high quality netting, but it is going to have a great look. It is going to have tons of strength if that is a consideration for you. However, for all of that, for the build quality, for the quality of materials, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than some of the other options out there. So this is the black version of this netting by Dirty Dog 4x4. This is going to be a polypropylene webbing, um, which is a very heavy duty material. This has way more strength than it's ever going to need for netting, right? The, the netting isn't really a structural thing. There's not a lot that's leaning on it. There's not a lot of weight that it's holding it up. So this is going to be more than strong enough for you. You can see that it has um, stitching at every intersection. It also has a metal grommet at every intersection. That's gonna add some strength, but also a little bit of style. In a lot of areas, these buckles are going to be stitched directly in place. This is, of course, being the female side of the buckle. Um, and then there's also a bag that comes in the box uh, that is going to be your male side of the buckle. So you can feed that onto the loose ends here and be able to attach everything and adjust everything so it all stays nice and tight, doesn't flap around, and gives you that look that you're after. So as far as a strength and a quality of the materials go here, Again, I think this is probably one of the higher quality sets of netting that you can buy out there. If you want to save some money, you can probably go with one of the lesser options, get something that's a little bit weaker, it might not look uh, quite the same way that this one looks. But if you have the budget and you want something really, really high quality, this one from Dirty Dog 4x4 is going to be a great choice. These three pieces of cargo netting are going to run you $350, and that is going to be a lot of money. As I said before, if you have the budget, you want something that's very, very high quality, this is it. If you wanna spend a little bit less, you're not so worried about the strength of the netting, you could probably go with one of the other options out there and save yourself a few dollars. Now we'll have a member of the install team show you how to install this on your two-door. We're gonna begin this installation by attaching one of the sides. You wanna orient the side so that we have this buckle at the rear. This is gonna wrap around the side and we want our straps at the top. You can see that there's no straps on this bottom section. So we're gonna get started with attaching this front section here. This is gonna wrap around the roll bar and then we're gonna go through our buckle. Now after you get that one installed, we're just gonna go back and forth and get these attached. So we're gonna do this side next, wrapping it around, going through the buckle and then back through the outer slot of the buckle. We're gonna do the same thing with the other side. We want these straps up top. We want this buckle at the bottom on the back. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this front upper one. So we're gonna bring that around. We're gonna go through the inner slot of the buckle and then we're gonna go back through the outer slot.
So now that we have both of our sides on, we're ready to install the overhead and back section. We want to orient it so you can see the label and read it from outside of the vehicle. Climb up here. And we're just gonna lay this just like that for now. So to start with the attachment of the top, we're gonna attach the first four straps. So we're gonna start with the first long one. We're gonna go around the roll bar. Then we're gonna come under it, and then we're gonna go through our buckle. So next, we're gonna take this strap. We're gonna come up through our second buckle on the front and then attach that. Then we're gonna take our next strap, go through the next buckle. This strap is gonna go through this buckle here and then back into itself. Now this one's just gonna wrap around and go to itself. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. We're going to start with this long strap. We're going to go around the roll bar, up around the side, and then we're going to go into our bottom of our two buckles. So we're going to feed that through, pull a little snug for now. So the front strap on the side, we're going to go up through this second buckle and then back down through it. And if it is a little tight on one side, you might want to go to the other side and loosen some of them up. So next we're going to take our straps provided. We're going to install those through the loop. And we're going to go down under the roll bar so that it comes back up the other side. And we're going to go through our buckle and then through the front side. Do the same thing for the other side. Go through the loop, down and under the roll bar, through the buckle, and then through the front side. So the next step, we're going to go around and install our buckles, both female and male ends. Starting with this bottom strap, we're going to use a male end. We're going to go through it and then back through the back slide. This is going to wrap around and connect to that buckle. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go through with our male end, back through. We're going to buckle that in. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. <clears throat> so the next step, we're going to install the tailgate bar. This is an optional step. You don't need to do this. It also requires tailgate bar retainers, which will come on your factory soft top. The tailgate bar is gonna slide through here. If you don't wanna use it, you can cut them off or leave them there. <clears throat> but I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're just gonna open up our pieces, our little loop ends, and we're gonna slide the bar through. Now once you have your two pieces all the way through, 
We're gonna go ahead and connect those in the middle and then we can slide each side into our retainers. So once you have all of your straps tightened and adjusted, that wraps up our review and install. Check out more at ExtremeTerrain.com.